This is the day that the Lord has made. Hey guys, what is up? It is so good to be back here with you guys today making another video. And I wanna say first of all, my apologies that this video schedule has been a little off in the past couple weeks. For me, it's been a bit of an adjustment coming home and getting used to doing school online while being around family and just getting used to it all. We're finding ourselves in a weird time, but I do want to make this a priority. So you will be seeing more content coming out. And I wanna say happy Holy Week to you guys. It is. Easter week, what an exciting, exciting week. Even in the midst of a difficult, difficult season, we have much hope. And today I wanna to bring you just a real quick thought from my reading this morning. I was in the book of Psalms where I've been doing my devotions for months now. And I was reading in Psalm 118 and I came across this verse that has been turned into children's songs and cliches, but is oh so true and was something I really needed to hear. And I hope it blesses you in this time as well. So it's Psalm 118 verse 24, and it's very simple. You've probably heard it. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And what I love is in context, there, there's no qualifier given. It's not, this is the day that the Lord has made and it's a great day, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Or this is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad because there are no difficulties. But what I want us to really hone in on here is that it's unconditional. This is the day that the Lord has made. The day you are in watching this video, the day I am in making this video, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day we've been gifted by God and let us rejoice and be glad in it for there is always reason as Christians to be hopeful. And we're reminded of that even more so in this week as we look towards Easter, we are reminded that no matter how grave the situation, sorry, I, I, I had it, the pun, I hope you got it. No matter how grave the situation, there is always hope and God always has the final word. And there is always reason to rejoice as long as the grave is empty. We have reason to be joyful. And so in this difficult season, I don't want to make light of what some of you are going through. I know this has been an incredibly difficult season. It's a heavy season. And that is so true. And I, I don't want to downplay that. But, but what I don't want us to forget is that there's always a reason to rejoice. We recognize that our present sufferings are light and momentary and light of eternity, that we have the hope of glory, the hope of eternal life with Jesus, that the story has been written, the victory has been won. And so we rejoice in this day. And it's so easy to look past the day that we're in, not just in these hard times. I know for me being in a long distance relationship, it is so easy to live in the future. Just be ready for the next time you see that person. Or being in college, it's so easy to just live in the future and think, oh, okay, I'm ready for ministry. I'm ready you know, for the next job or whatever it is for you. It's easy to rejoice in the future, but can we rejoice in this day? Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And it reminds me of 1 Thessalonians 5, where Paul gives this beautiful closing and he says this, starting in verse 16, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstance. It says, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So in the midst of these hard times, I want you to look for things that you can rejoice in. And even if it's something, even if it's hard to come up with, that if you are a Christian, there is always reason to rejoice. We always have hope. So let's dig into that. Let's be thankful for what God has given us. And let's look for ways that we can find joy in the midst of these circumstances, because this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was just a short idea, but I hope it encourages you. I hope it blesses you in this time. And I hope it gives you hope and gives you reason to rejoice and causes there to be more joy in your life because I believe that is the will of God for you. And so I wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. That really does mean so much to me. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd encourage you to click like, leave me a comment down below, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Here on this channel, Gospel Simplicity, we're a community of people that are passionate about the beautiful simplicity and transformative power of the gospel, the good news about Jesus. So if that's something that interests you, I'd really encourage you to become a part of this community. I want to thank all of you guys that have been keeping up with these videos and sharing them with your friends. That just means so much to me. It's truly an honor, and it's it means so much that you guys are getting 
stuff out of these. So thank you guys for being a part of this. Until next time, be on the lookout for more videos. And as always, go out and love God and love others because truly, above all else, that will change the world. Peace, love you guys so much. See you next time.